Welcome you all to Math Bridges Fun with Math. I have come up with an interesting video how to make the children fall in love with maths while they learn about the great epic of Ramayan. It's a part in Balakan which is given. It's about the birth of Lord Rama uh, where the children learn about fractions through mythology. It can be taken as a storytelling pedagogy also which can help them to enhance their knowledge along with the learning. Let's see how much of fractions do we find in Ramayan. Long, long ago and so long ago, there lived a king named Dasharada. He was the king of Ayodhya who belongs to Ikshmaku dynasty. He used to rule his kingdom with great compassion, a sense of justice and courage. King Dasharada, the king of Ayodhya did not have any sons. So, his guru sage Vasista advised him to perform the Putra Kamesti Yagna. Being a very difficult Yagna, sage Rishi Singha was invited to perform the Yagna due to his power of purity. So, as per the wish of his guru Vasista, Dasharita performed Putra Kamesti Yagna. And at the final stage of the Yagna, Lord Agni appeared and gave a bowl of Kheer means it is piesam, sweet rice, to the king, which was to be partaken by the three wives, three queens, Kaushalya, Sumitra and Kaikeyi. The piesam or the sweet rice offered by Agni Deva has to be distributed by King Dasharada to, to his three queens. In Valmiki's Ramayan, Balakant, a shloka has been given that how King Dasharada has distributed the piesam to his queens. Let's see the shloka. Kaushalyayai Narapatihi Payasardam Dadao Tada Artha Dadardam Dadao Chapi Sumitraya Naradipaha Kaikeya Chava Shishtardam Dadao Putrada Karanat. So this shloka gives how King Dasharata has distributed the Payasa to his queens. Let's see how he has done that. As per the shloka, let's see how King Dasharada distributed the sweet rice or the piesam to his three wives Kaushalya, Sumitra and Kaikeyi. The first line as per the shloka, Dasharada gave half of the portion of sweet rice or piesam to Kaushalya and half of the remaining half to Sumitra that means half of half and next half of the remaining portion of this that means one eighth of the original to Kaikeyi for the sake of his son. On further thinking, he gave the remaining one-eighth portion to Sumitra. In this manner, the king divided and distributed the piesam among his wives separately. To understand the distribution of the sweet rice piesam, let us see in a pictorial form for better understanding. This is one whole, considered to be as an, a ball of piesam. So, the complete as per the shloka, half of this whole has been given to Kaushalya. Queen Kaushalya. The remaining half. Out of this, again, half of this, that means half of half, that means one fourth part of this has been given to Sumitra. Now, again, this part has been left over. Again, it has been told half of this one means one by four of half again. That means it will be one by eight. This part has been given to Kaikeyi. And the remaining part, what has been left over? Again, this is one-eighth part which was given to Sumitra. See how beautifully it has been depicted in the shloka. Now, let's see in the previous slide what we have seen. The half of the sweet rice to Kaushalya, one-fourth to Sumitra, one-eighth to Kaikeya and the remaining one-eighth to Sumitra again. Now, let's take calcium. It is eight. When we simplify, we will get four plus two plus one plus one, which is equals to eight by eight equals to one whole. See the beauty. This is nothing but addition of fractions to one whole. How beautifully it has been depicted in our epics. This is the true aesthetics of Max. After consuming the kheer or the sweet rice, Kaushalya gave birth to Lord Rama. Kaikeyi gave birth to Bharata. And Sumitra gave birth to twins, Lakshmana and Shetrugna, as she consumed twice. As per the scriptures, the Ramayana was composed in Sanskrit probably not before 300 BCE. 
As you can see on the screen, this is the Putra Kamyasti Yagna which was performed by King Dasharada. It's been carved on the walls of Amruteshwara Temple in Karnataka. Stories from Ramayana has been carved very beautifully in this temple. So you can you can see fractions have been present in our mythology or in our epics long long ago. Hope you all like the video. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel Math Bridges Fun with Math. Thank you everyone.